Minnesota, the first team to down Klaus and Co. And they do it at City Park. Yeah, we're not uh, superhuman after all. <laughs> um, just really proud of my boys. The way they've handled the last five, six weeks, uh, plus the six weeks of preseason. Um, so we're excited about what the future brings. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to, to get back to work on Monday. And we are talking soccer tonight with one of the young stars of St. Louis City SC, Nico Joachini. Nico, great to be with you. And the reason we have this interesting set, by the way, this is uh, Italy in the background, is that you spent <laughs> five years in Parma, where Parmesan cheese was created. So we got great food here tonight from John Tony's on the Hill, one of the best Italian restaurants. We have some eggplant parm, uh, the John Tony's pasta, and some chicken marsala. I'd offer you some more, but you polished off almost all that already. <laughs> now, we have some wine here too, but you're old enough to drink it, but you better not, right? Because coach is watching. I don't drink alcohol. All right. We got a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, your dad is Italian and your mom is from Jamaica. And I love this story. Even though your mom doesn't have like this great soccer background, she knows the game and often critiques your work. She does. Um, my mom has been always been my greatest critic um, ever since the start. Uh, her and my sister have been there. Uh, you know, she, after each game, no matter if we win or we lose, she always gives her, her personal opinion on my performances. And is her analysis close to Coach Bradley Carnell's analysis of you? I mean, does, does she agree with what, what he's saying? Oftentimes, uh, she always has her own opinion that always differs from everyone else because she really does get into my bloodstream sometimes about what I do on the field. Uh, but uh, very similar, sometimes very similar. Awesome. All right, so as we knew you weren't going 34 and 0, just kind of when you look back at that game last night, where you guys dominated the first half, and they only got one shot on goal, the penalty kick. When you when you driving home last night, what are you thinking after that game? Yeah, it was tough. Uh, it was tough to lose in that fashion, that manner. Um, you know, it was not something that. Um, we wanted it for a home game for sure. You know, we knew eventually that uh, a tough period would come, a game that we couldn't win would, would, would arrive. But, uh, you know, at home it's always tough to lose, especially in front of such a, a lovely crowd. Um, but, you know, it's one game. We're five and one. It's still, it's still a decent, decent record and we're on to the next. Let's talk about yourself. You're off to this great start with two goals and an assist and two of the goals, that they've just been out of sight. Are you surprising yourself or did you think, you know what, I can come into the MLS, I'm only 22, and be a factor right away? Did you know this? I've always believed in myself. I've had, obviously, moments in my career where I've struggled a little bit with confidence, but I've always known that um, I have the qualities to be where I am today. I'm not here by any chance. Uh, you know, I've been blessed with opportunities and I've learned to do what I do um, and create as many chances. And, and, and score goals, so, yeah. All right, now, tell me, uh, okay, that's, that's the, one of the goals. We're gonna show you another one in just a moment. And take me through this on how you scored this goal as we see the fans just going crazy. But this, this second goal, man, the fans won't stop cheering for you here. Okay, how about this one? Tell me about this. Well, I wasn't supposed to, that wasn't my designated run. I was supposed to go back post, but, you know, sometimes you have to play with instinct. Um, you always should play with instinct. And my gut feeling told me to go first post, so I changed direction and the ball happened to fall into my feet from the beautiful uh, Indiana corner kick and, you know, found, found itself in the back of the net. We see Klaus in a lot of those highlights. Tell me about what it's like to play with him. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, I couldn't be happier playing next to such a striker. Um, a real presence on the field, someone who talks to me, um, even mentors me on the field. You know, it's someone who I really respect in that, in that manner and someone who has wonderful qualities. Um, you know, I haven't known his past much, except for the last couple of weeks I've studied about it, but um, a guy who just on and off the field is amazing. Uh, he's given me such great tips. That is interesting you mentioned past because on a baseball team, for the most part, you'll have maybe 18 of the 25 guys that kind of have similar backgrounds. You guys are from all parts of the world. Yes, you know, it's in an expansion team. I'm guessing, you know, in our, in our case, for sure, as a fact, everyone's from a different place. So bringing guys together from such far destinations is not always easy, but Coach Bradley and the whole staff has made it such a 
pleasurable experience and we're really living through it and living up to what we are trying to do. One of those guys from a different part of the world, your goaltender Roman Berkey, you told me one day that he does give you stern lectures and he is a coach on the field. Tell me about him. Yes, he's very serious. Um, just like Klaus, very serious guy. You know, no joke. When you're on the pitch, it's war. And everyone has responsibility, as responsibilities and um, everyone has to be accountable for them. So he's a guy who gives his thoughts, gives you facts, and at the end of the day, he's, he's right. He's very often right. I can say always right for so far. So, you know, he's a guy who's very important to our team and a, a big leader for every player on, 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 that, on, that, on that pitch. So you've played in front of 70,000 before in Las Vegas, but what is that St. Louis City SC crowd like? Keep coming to the games because <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's an adrenaline rush feeling. It's something that I don't know if every team gets to experience, and I'm pretty sure very few teams get to experience such um, energetic, adrenaline rushing crowds. It's something that a player would dream for, and I have it every two weeks, so I, I, couldn't, be, I couldn't be happier around these guys. Final thought, the ownership spared no expenses in the way they treat you guys. Can you give us an idea of how that helps? We've got 30 seconds. We're pretty spoiled. Um, <laughs> we get... <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, wonderful. Hope it's made right, right there in the kitchen. Uh, great quality food. We get everything really that we need. So, um, you know, a big thanks to what they've been able to produce and been able to bring together. Um, we're all, we're all really, really grateful for that. Maybe that's a reason why you're five and one. That is a big part of it. That's a huge part of a, a behind, a behind the success. Nico, good to see you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, we'll take a short time out. Sports Plus will continue right after this.